U.S.-Israel talks Mike Pompeo to meet Netanyahu and Gantz. The U.S.-Israeli annexation mapping team is due to finish its work by the end of June. The U.S. Secretary of State is set to arrive in Israel for talks with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Benny Gantz, his soon-to-be partner in a unity government. Mike Pompeo's visit comes as the United States signals its support for Israel's plan to annex 30% of the occupied West Bank. That we will be able to celebrate another historic moment in the history of Zionism. Netanyahu has made annexation pledges before, often during election campaigns, without following through. Some analysts suspect concerns over regional stability might make him hold off once again. But since the election, annexation talk has strengthened, not diminished. Netanyahu has built the policy into his coalition deal with his former rival Benny Gantz. And above all, there's been preemptive support from the Trump administration. The U.S.-Israeli annexation mapping team is due to have finished its work by the end of June. The American ambassador to Israel has said the U.S. is ready to recognize Israeli sovereignty within weeks if, with annexation, comes a commitment to negotiate with the Palestinians. The Palestinian president, Mahmoud Abbas, says annexation would see him dissolve all agreements with the U.S. and Israel, something that could collapse the Palestinian Authority and leave Israel with direct responsibility for the Palestinian people. It's a warning he's made before and not delivered on, but officials say this time is different. We know it is difficult. We know it is always a matter of survival, but we think that uh, accepting uh, such Israeli de facto is not a choice. You cannot live with such annexation. Netanyahu's prospective co-prime minister, Benny Gantz, plans to argue for delay from within government but he gave up any veto on annexation as part of the deal that would see him take the top job in 18 months' time. The international consensus that's in the coalition agreement is the United States. Mike Pompeo's view is quite known, and Donald Trump needs to uh, allow annexation in order to build up his evangelical base ahead of a floundering election campaign. So American politics and Israeli politics are in a unique place right now to facilitate annexation. European nations are reportedly considering sanctions. There's also the prospect of Jordan, Egypt and other Arab states pressuring the White House not to approve. But in the end, this decision, with all its potential for far-reaching consequences, comes down to two men, Benjamin Netanyahu and Donald Trump. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, West Jerusalem.